Back in the old days of Viacet, when the Uganda Knuckles invaded almost every public lobby, when Viacet was not overfilled with children using a Quest 2, <laughs> and when the HTC Vive was a standard for most of Viacet's users. With all the changes over the years and all the content that has been added by players as well as by Viacet themselves, I feel like we forgot how it all started, how it all began and what we might be able to learn from the past. So let's travel back in time and see what kind of worlds we used to be in, getting deeper into what made them so popularizing and what we can learn from them. Let's get started. Ooga Booga Viachet Home we should begin with something everyone surely knows of and what most of us first see when booting up VRChat. Back then, you used to spawn into this, the VRChat home. Small and convenient, with a mirror, a beautiful view and some pencils to draw cute things. The 2018 home used to also have a gun range type of game with laser pistols. But look closely at its design. It seems a little grey, not as colourful as it is now. The Viachet home used to be more of a start out and move on place and in comparison with the new Viachet home, it's a huge difference. If you look at it, the overlay and purpose of the current Viachet home world is to make it easier for new players to start out, showing you how to move, finding avatars to wear, popular worlds and even events that are happening in Viachet are showcased via portals. I still have a picture of me back in 2020 being in this place with other people that I got to know back then. So this is definitely a place to start off. The presentation room. Viachet themselves have created a lot of our beloved worlds. Not only the home world that we talked about before, but also the presentation room. This really hits the nostalgia spot. This place used to be full with anime girls, memers and knuckles, writing down everything they wanted to know about each other and it was amazing. I can confidently say that a lot of players, maybe even you watching this video, have met and got to know friends here. Now since this is a PC only world and not really used by players at all, the presentation room unfortunately turned into an abandoned world. But the memories will always stay forever, especially for the ones who did find good friends here. Open mic night. Yes, you heard me right on that one. The stage, the seats, the spectators and the artists. I lost my way. Open mic night was one world to be able to show off your talent, perform on stage, sing, dance, do comedy and so many other talents to name. A lot of performers that used to be at Open Mic Night are now quite popular and managed to make their talent into something big. Open Mic Night used to be filled with people not only on stage but even at the entrance and backstage. It used to be on the main page at the World Stop but time by time fell back and soon was never as active as it used to be back then. I used to watch videos about VRChat and so many funny and good moments have been made here. And it was even a better feeling if you were actually in an open mic night for yourself to see and hear a performance. The Great Pug One of the OG strongholds to this day. It never really aged and never really changed. Layout wise it is still the same and for PC users a way to go to meet with other like minded ones. The Great Park has been holding on very strongly to its position and due to its popularity has never changed since. A lot of interviews of other users have been recorded here and the Great Park is a very good place to go for deep talks and have fun. Depending on where you are in the world the conversation types change. The more up you go the deeper the philosophical conversations become if you know what I mean. The Great Park is huge, having a lot of different areas to be around. It is perfectly balanced, there's no spot that is completely crowded and since the world is so large, it is great for finding secrets and or adventure the park. And fun fact, the Great Park is actually based on a real park called the Great Dane in Wisconsin, United States. The layout is almost one by one, perfect for park enthusiasts. Uganda 
I feel like without the Knuckles, Viajit wouldn't be as popular as it is today. The Knuckles culture really gave Viajit a huge jumping pad in player count and made it rise for good. Uganda was made for the users to actually wear the Knuckles avatar and finding their way with the Buddhas, but it's been well over five years since we had the Knuckles running around, performing and spitting at others, and I'm pretty sure the Knuckles have found their way. Rest in peace, Knuckles meme. You will always be in our hearts. Avatar testing. Now this is quite an underrated one. Avatar testing was, well, for avatar testing. It had a ginormous mirror, grabbables to see if the avatar you have actually works accordingly and enough space to move around. When I remember back at this place, I always have this view of a group of tanks mirror dwelling here. And yeah, this happens in VRChat even if you're an experienced user. Overall, this world was used for testing and hanging out with others. But as you know, things have come to an end with this world as well. Though the memories will not be forgotten, and it's just super funny to think back at what people you were able to meet here. There's also a nice little jacuzzi and some other areas to explore and to hang out in. The Viachet Hub There are three versions of the Viachet Hub. The old medieval hub from 2016, the November 2017 hub and the current hub that we're in right now. The Viachet Hub used to be, just like the Viachet Home, a place for new but also experienced players to hang out and to get to know the game a little more. It had a little play area, explained how you can get an avatar, world showcases, a mirror and this beautiful campfire. People used to crowd around the campfire, telling stories or just hanging around here pretty often. Well, used to. The Viaja Top is not as active as it used to be, but the place is still amazing to check out once in a while. It's really neat. I always love the original Viajit world design. It's really unique in style, so Viajit devs, if you watch this video, please create more official worlds like these. The old hub used to look more medieval, more dark, and in my opinion, less inviting. There's a huge tree, this large tower, entrances, and of course, a campfire too. It's still out here, visitable, and still a place to keep memories in. Fast forward to the November 2017 hub, and jeez. Are we in heaven? This one looks all out golden, almost like a paradise with a huge main tower or the so-called event hall, portals, plant life, a panosphere that shows you a true Viachet moment, help areas with portals and this cool fish tank I found. This hub especially is stuffed and it really looks like you warped into a paradise. God bless. I'm very much sure you love Viachet, so I got something very special for you. This YouTube channel right here. It offers everything you need to know about VRChat and its community as well as developer updates and hardware that you can use in VRChat. And you know what's even crazier? Subscribing to this channel is completely free! Oh, and look! Only 6% are subscribed to this channel so why not join us and stay up to date on what's happening in VRChat and in the VRverse. I promise ya mate, you're not gonna regret anything once subscribed. <sighs> okay. Enough with that, let's keep rolling and travel to... Japan Shrine Ah, uh, the perfect place for polyglot content creators to talk in different languages to small anime lollies and basic avatars. I used to watch these videos back then pretty often and always found them quite entertaining. But the Japanese shrine is so much more than that. To this day, it is still being visited by many users and mostly from, well, you guessed it, from Japan. The Japanese shrine, as the name says, is pretty much based around Japanese culture, with sakura trees and traditional houses, a Shinto shrine and an overall Japanese style. If you for example speak Japanese or love to know about the language and its culture, the Japanese shrine is one way to go. It's still out here and very active. Isn't that incredible? You might even be able to find some secrets. Hangout House Oh my god, the memories! Hangout House has been used a lot by other VRChat content creators, but was also a good place to be around with friends. Seeing the Hangout House and remembering the videos I used to watch, I was able to point out every corner and room where known clips have been made, but let's not do that. The Hangout House is quite large. It has a kitchen, a living room, a waifu bunker? I don't even know, man. And a lot of other rooms. 
This place used to be pretty active, but with other worlds popping off, the hangout house slowly went into irrelevance. Yet it's still out here for visit and definitely a world to check out, especially if you want to hang out or create videos. Classic Gaia Night A campfire and a group to talk and to vent with. This is what Gaia Night used to be. But not only that, a lot of people were able to get to know others here and were able to talk about almost everything there is. The campfire and its surroundings made this world really unique and cozy to be in. This world is also not as often visited as it used to be before, but you should give this world a visit to see for yourself for sure. Treehouse in the Shade I really wanted to add this one onto the list since Treehouse in the Shade is really something unique and has quite a history behind it. The world is like the name says, a treehouse that you can hang out in, sleep or be with your friends. You can also change the shaders to almost everything you like and change the environment and style to your liking. The Archer themselves are putting a lot of effort into keeping this world safe, especially due to its history. Treehouse in the Shade was made by 1001 and SCRN. Pardon me if I misspell it. 1001 was a very known world creator back then and a good friend of Ron Miller, the chief creative officer of The Archit. Unfortunately, 1001 passed away due to a heart failure back in February of 2020, which was confirmed by SCRN, his partner. I want to put out my condolences even if it happened a while ago. This world greatly had an impact on the VRChat player base and other world creators. Besides the tragic history of the creator of the Treehouse in the Shade, the world itself is an absolutely must visit if you want to hang out with your friends and or want to play around with the shaders on that world. And before we go to the next world, I really want to quote SCRN as well, and I quote, for two years he has been a part of my life, and for two years he has been a part of this community. I'll try my best to continue to do what he always wanted, to show the world the beauty of virtual reality and build an amazing community around it. Old Viachet Coffee Shop to spice things up for the ending, we're gonna travel back almost 10 years ago into the past to check out the first ever VRChat world that was made and published as well as the first avatar that users used to wear back then. Helicopter, helicopter. VRChat formerly was named VR Forms and the old VRChat coffee shop right here behind me used to be the only and main place to meet people here. This was the starting point for one of the most interesting and known VR social platforms to this day. The beginning of VRChat can be traced back to this specific world. It is amazing! I really recommend you to also visit this one in particular since this is not only really ancient but also a place that has to be visited by yourself to get the experience here. Honestly, there are even more classic VRChat worlds to visit that I did not mention in this video. So what about a part 2? Let me know down in the comments section if you guys are up for that. Also, don't forget to like this video to support my journey on YouTube and subscribe to this channel if you also like VRChat and want to get deeper into the matter of VR. I also Twitter a lot, so go ahead and follow me there for posts. <laughs> yeah, like this one. <laughs> and as always, take care in the virtual as well as in reality. Ciao, ciao!